going back uh, to ancient Kemetu, so-called Egypt and Nubia, and into Central and West Africa, even in modern Americas, where once thrived the leopard societies with secrets. These leopard societies possessed carefully guarded knowledge of deeply spiritual nature, hidden in trance, dance, a song, and music. You will notice here that this is the basis of many of the movies that we have seen. This is the uh, two Congo uh, natives captured by Belgian authorities and sentenced to death as members of the infamous Leopard Man. See, this is the Leopard Man above, Leopard Man in full regalia, ready to pounce. African Leopard Man from Meta Group. This is how Europe conveyed it. And it all started, and it was all started in Africa. And you can see here is Kemetian Leopard uh, uh, Man uh, wearing the Leopard uh, regalia. See also in West Africa here, the same stuff, uh, the same story going on. African music uh, dance creates a mystery. This is one of those mystical subjects that we must be able to grasp. The oldest musical instrument, of course, yes, it's the African uh, rhythm, the African voice. Earlier on, it may have accompanied, uh, it may have been accompanied by the African drum, the talking a drum. Other human beings copied and mimicked this kind of African music, song and dance, which is original. And at various levels of their history, they then incorporated some of their barbaric aspects. And yet, they missed something, which cannot be stolen. The mystical power within the African natural dance, song and music cannot be duplicated or be stolen. It can only be watered down. We went further and instrumentized our music with artifacts of animal bones, skin and hairs, wood, shells, and other materials available. Why did we do that? Yes, if you are passionate about your original African identity, reawakening your ancestral solutions to vanquish modern problems, igniting that fearsome giant lulled to sleep by other religions, and spiritualities or sororities to walk with the creator of our ancestors, hit the subscribe button. Visit our website, lifespiritofamencamp.com. Comment and share. This is our time, Hamiti Hiburu Ethics. Do scholars know the depth of our mystical musical genius? Why do Africans create and love to dance better than any other race? Scholars teach that it is fun, that dancing may have helped us to survive as a species. Evolutionary anthropologists like Brownie and Tarr from the University of Oxford explains that when we dance, we are rewarded with feeling a good endorphins that change how we feel about ourselves and those around us. It could be true, but although thousands see the entertainment and money aspects, it is the obvious outcome of dancing that we are looking for. It's not only money, endorphins, or fame, but how did it all begin? It all began in ancient Africa. It all began by the original people, the original race. Why did our ancestors dance? There is a unique fabric that has been missed. Even so, many sense that there is something within the psyche of African music, which is power which is, cannot be touched, which cannot be duplicated or copied. You can see here the fresco, uh, the painting in ancient Hamet of uh, the seven uh, professional female dancers. This is choreography. Look at what they are wearing. They are wearing all the stuff, the sh 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 shakati, chuma, beds, that give them power and that give them rhythm, that gives us power. Africans invented music. Why? Is it to enjoy? Yes, but there could be more. Africans are naturally talented and can actually dance. All over the earth, Africans create major milestones in music, dance, and song. No other race has come close. We are the best. Others survive on imitation, on copying, and as usual, plagiarizing. At this point in time, the Africans are the best. 
in the Congo, they are the best dancers. They produce fantastic music. But globally, we are still at the top. We will remain at the top. You have heard of the Leopard Group. You have heard of Asian dance, trance dancing and spirit dancing. How is it that this can be done? Yes, we know that the African drum is the master of everything. And all other subsequent tools accompanying the voice and the dance and the trance that we go into. What is it? What can we learn from this? What can we absorb from this? Do you dance? Have you ever asked yourself why you love that specific type of music and dance? If you do not love your African best music, why? Asking these questions will bring many varied answers. The gist of the matter is unless we remain within the philosophy of our Ubuntu as in many other subjects of value we may have been lied to or misled. The church, the mosque, the school and education and modern culture all have misled us into the watering down of this immense power of music and dance. The western civilization has not taught us why we dance. The answer is beyond anthropology or musicology. In ancient Egypt, which was the seventh uh, African civilization and the last of its kind in the history of mankind, existed at its zenith power, understanding and wisdom, and all was tied up into music and dance. Yet we know that they always had pilgrimages into Central and Sub-Saharan Africa where they brought the dancing masters. Why did they do that? We see here the image of Bess, uh, the god of childbirth, home, infants, humor, song, and dance. They say that he was not originally an Egyptian, but we know he was, and that he came from the gods of Southern Africa. He had the tongue out, and he had the rattle, yet we know that that symbolized something. Why? What is it? The answer to the mystical power of African rhythms is complex, but can be unfailed easily. We know that the most singular event that destroyed our kingdom in ancient Egypt in years which followed marked the end of native rule in ancient Egypt. Groups of Bantus spread all over Africa within their culture and tradition. We carried an identity linkage that was connected and fused with music and dance. Totems denote a common link. Poetic songs and praise songs and praise utterances are the motor that unite African tribes during times of dispersal, war, and enjoyment. For example, the Bahwezi and Kima in Uganda, Abba Zirakende in Kinyarwanda, reached present-day Rwanda and neighboring territories. Also, all the other tribes, the Ngunis that came into South, Southern Africa, having common ancestry identifiable through Totems. The Abasegera trace their ancestry to Kagesera, Ruhinda, and Kimeni and comprises of the Hutu, Tutsi, and Batwa. Their common totem is the monkey. Therefore, it is out of the monkey, the clicks of the monkey, the clicks of insects, that we have the click, the African click in our languages. Music and dance comes from all that. Why do we dance? We see here again the God Bess 1400 before common era painting and dancing to music and creating music. More on totems and dance. In West Africa, the migrants moved up into nations and tribes identifiable with totems and clans, including the buffalo, plantain, cornstalk, parrot, wild cat, red earth dog, and the panther. The Inkra clan of uh, Ghana in Ashanti are clans of ants, which reminds us that they, these are the people of nature connected to nature. In East Africa, many accounts tell that people believed wholly that they came from totemic animals and they were connected with totemic animals. No mating ever suggested. The Maasai, the Nilotic pastoralist from Kenya and Tanzania, believe they came from dogs. In the Sudan, the Shiluk attest that they owe their beginnings from the sacred cow of the Nile, a typical totem myth power. 
the, the Shiluk population of southern Sudan and neighbors of the Dinka and the Nuwa also believe in totemic power, totemic animals. Similarly, in East Africa, the Wanika believe that they came from the hyena, and another ancestor is the hippopotamus. Malagasy people in Madagascar, they have a luma as the totemic animal, which is known as the Besmirisa Raka, or Aye Aye. The power of totemic praise, a dance and sound mimicking each totemic animal's behavior links our musical prowess with the natural source. In Southern Africa, via totems, the Bakwenas of Crocodile Men call it their father and their chief is the great man of the crocodile. They would dance and choreograph in deeds and thoughts the patterns similar to various animals connected with their totems. The Nyatis would do that mimicking the buffalo and would fight like a buffalo, would survive like a buffalo. The Ngara or Nkala would do the same like the porcupine and the Chumas like the sheep. The spiders like the lion, the novels like the elephant, and they built specialized totemic cults like the leopard uh, people that we have, uh, leopard men that we have spoken of. The loss and watering down of all this became part of our demise and downfall. The mysteries of dancing and music continues. Only minds completely crazed or fatally confused by the current Christomania would suppose that the details of totemism which are as old at least as the cult of Ptah in ancient Memphis in Egypt are pagan. Some vital observances are needed. The royal regalia of ancient black rulers and sages demonstrated the development of theriopic religion from theriomorphic. The totemic arrays of ancient Egyptian pharaoh symbolizes the fusion of tribes which led to the unification of the kingdom. Hence we have Dendera with all its cosmic connection and the power. This is the source of our music. This cosmic connection is the power. We must understand it. We must teach this. This is ours. But there is more to it. What links totems and dance and you? It is the law of energy. It's all energy. Energy vibrates. Vibrations attract similar vibrations and repel the similar vibrations. Oh, it's spiritual. Energy is a spirit. Energy, ngamanda. Energy is simba. That's energy. Dance produces this. Dance is the combination of the height, power, smoothness, and regularity. It generates vibration. It generates spirit. It connects spirit. A vibration is the resulting pattern of other variables. So, there are literally endless number of vibrations. But dance, the African rhythmic natural dance, in many of its types is associated with specific sound and motion of the animal totem creating a trance state in dance using your melanin, your carbon, as you move in and out of ancestral frequencies. The trance natural dance is born within us at a specific time with specific animals using specific instruments today. This is the best of our key to naturalness, to high frequency, just like high voltage, we connect and produce power. If we don't connect and we disconnect, we become weak and useless, and music and dance become perverted discord. Africans invented music. Africans are naturally talented and can dance. The pharaohs knew this, hence their annual music show where they invited their ancestors to come and dance for them in the face of a bass. The enemy knew this. The enemy studied this. The enemy has distorted this, continues to distort this. And hence the distortion of music lowers our vibration. When we vibrate, we connect the dots. We connect universally with our ancestors and eventually Music connects us with the ultimate creator of our ancestor. The reason you have not already gotten what you desire is because you are holding yourself in a vibrational hold or pattern that does not match the vibration of your desire, of your totemic DNA and blood and ancestry. That is the only reason ever. And an important thing for you to know and understand is this. If you stop and think about it, 
or more importantly, if you stop and feel about it, you can identify the very source of this discord and you can break uh, the jinx. Totemism represents fusion. Totems represents non-differentiation that reflects in our primitive way and manner of thought and feeling with nature. It reflects an aggregation and group unity based on similar and sympathies and similar desires. In other words, it stresses participation with the non-human world, the ancestral world, with the divine, with the creator. Totemism proper is practiced essentially by hunter-gatherer peoples, it's us, with their totems linking them to a non-empirical world that allows them to believe in the unity between them and their everyday world. This is what was said by Cooper, a scholar. This is what we practice as Africans. Natural dance creates emotions which have physical totemic power linkages with our earthly existence and the unseen. When you dance, you create your own signature in this tapestry of ancestry and send a message beyond physical object. The emotional vibrations also go from higher and faster and lower and slower frequencies as we have demonstrated. Therefore, it's like when you are laughing and having fun, your body vibrations are lighter and higher and move faster and therefore penetrate and break through into the unseen realm. In conclusion, therefore, let us dance. Let us create music. African prowess in song, music and dance is naturally connected to the fact that our physical existence and spiritual aura is totemic. That's the mystery. It's not a talent, but it's us and our history and our ancestry and our creator and what covenant we entered into and agreed. It's in our blood. It cannot be removed. It can only be watered down. The clearer you are about this uniqueness, the stronger your vibration the better your chances of vibrationally attracting similar people, similar systems, like-minded, like-spirited. After all, dancing is natural to us. Let us teach ourselves to dance some more and let our kids know this too. This, above all other social benefits, is the real reason why Africans dance, sing, and enjoy music. Let those others do it their way. For us, through the practice of ancestral spiritual sciences, which we have demonstrated here from the continent of ancient Africa, we know this is our time. Come and actively participate in the new leopard society again. Siabonga, Tatenda, Somene. Thank you. This is priest teacher Rabbi Elem Tumizulu of Life Spirit of Amen Hem. Hamiti Hebrew Ethics, subscribe to our channel and let us rebuild again through song and dance. Goodbye.